Look at this, man. This that. is, this is that's literally 500 fish in that school time. hundreds of fish. You know, it just looked like the entire channel was just, just, just bubbling, you know, nope. from the tarpon. One would roll here, one would roll there, and you realize that that's a school that's 100 yards wide and, you know, 50 yards deep, and they're coming right at us, and it's all 100-pound right. tarpon. Look at the size of this school, man. This is massive. There he is. Get him. get him, buddy. Get him, get him, get him, get him. I'm trying. Nice, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Look at that guy. That is a shark. That's the biggest fish I've ever caught. Woo! I'm going to continue. Okay, I'm relax. Oh, dude, he just ripped my boat off. Saltwater Experience, presented by Yellowfin, with Captain Tom Rowland and Captain Rich Tudor. You know, this time of the year, I would wake up in the black dark, and I would fish around Key West, and that's it, you know? So my world for tarpon fishing on fly is Key West. I mean, that's it. And I've never spent any time up here fly tarpon fishing. Fish. Fly tarpon fishing. Fly tarpon, right, right. I mean, of course, we fish the bridge and stuff. And then, you know, it, what's interesting is that the first time we ever met, we were in a fly tarpon tournament, the Gold Cup. That's right. But I was fishing here, and you were running to Key West. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> five, day, five days of running to Key West, that'll, that'll wear you out. So right here, man, right in front of Duck Key, um, you know, a lot of those tournaments were won. I'm sure. I'm positive. Well, show me, man. Go you find them, I'm going to catch them. This is one of my favorite things to do ever. So I got a summer birthday, and uh, you asked me one time what I wanted for my birthday. I said, I want you to pull me around all day long let me catch a tarpon. I want you to take me to your spots that you win these tournaments, and I want to fly fish for tarpon. So, man, the number came up. <laughs> you know, May in the Florida Keys, the tarpon migration is pouring through. No better time than, than right now to catch a tarpon. Well, you got extra promise. lucky because not only did we get the right timing and the right tides, but we got the right weather, and that's the most important. It was, uh, you know, right around Duck Keys, the best tarpon fishing in the Keys, you know, consistent migratory, you know fish and you've never gotten a fish up here during this time of year because you guided Key West right, and Lower Keys all those times. My head's down and you know the only time that I would fish up here, I would fish up here in the early season where I'm looking for laid up fish all over and I would fish basically all over the Florida Keys to, to find what I'm looking for but once they start migrating man you know we had places in Key West where the fish will lay up, we have places that they'll swim down the ocean, we got channel fishing and harbor fishing there was really no reason for me to have to go anywhere. I'm going to cover this uh, troll motor up so I don't get tangled on it, but I'll leave it on because if we have to go into the current or something, I can I can run it while you pull a little bit. Yeah, man. Yeah, I might, we might see the fish coming across the channel there, hit this bank and come right at us, or they might come out of this bridge and work right down this, this channel edge. This was something I was really looking forward to, and one of the reasons is because there's a tarpon migration in Key West, and 99% of our fish especially to the west of Key West, are coming from the Marquesas towards Key West. We would refer to them as northbound fish because they're gonna keep coming right up the coast and, and go up towards Miami. Well, I know up here that it's about 50-50. You know, you guys and what you've been telling me is that, you know, we have fish that are, that are traveling south, we've got fish that are traveling north, and that was the coolest thing that I saw as far as being out there. It was like a video game, man. You got fish coming here, you got fish coming here, and they were meeting up and then they'd start you know, daisy chaining, and then they'd break up again and go their separate directions. And man, it was it was really cool. I mean, you said 50 shots. I'm thinking, yeah, sure, you can get 50 shots. But I, I you were supremely confident. The 12 o'clock, right off my bow, right towards the, I the see corner you. of the bridge. That's a big wide beautiful up. school. I want to make a cast for right there. Okay. okay. Look at him. Look at how yeah. many fish there. This Look is how a many beautiful fish thing, man. Just be real quiet back there. This is going to be beautiful, man. I would just get right up here. Trying to try to, hard try bottom, to just I can't, I can't kick me around mind. and stop if you can. Honestly, I've never tried first thing in the morning, right in front of the resort, mm -hmm. right in front of Hawks Cay. We call it the resort flat. You know, I know during the daytime when the sun gets up, I'll see the bodies of the fish cruising through there, and I'll fish that. But I've never seen them necessarily rolling early in the morning. Um, it makes sense because I've got other spots down the road that are similar to that where they hit the bank and and then start to roll and kind of funnel right to us. Mm -hmm. But it was nice to, to to I guess roll the dice and try something new. One o'clock, one o'clock, fifteen feet, twenty feet. See the hole? He's going right. Yeah. Like there? A little, a little. That might be okay. Your hair short, but I'd work it. I'd try another one pretty quick. A little further. 
to the right. Yeah, there you go. You're in. You're actually long, but you're coming with the current now, so. All right, I'm gonna try to get us back. We, we know where they're, they're tracking now. See if I can get us in the position for the next school. Man, that was a beautiful school. Yeah. Come on. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Good, good job, Tom. Nice job, dude. Wow. Wow. The Hawks K Saltwater Experience, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you by Hawks K Resort Marina and Villas. All the fun of the Florida Keys in one island resort. Yellowfin, only in a Yellowfin. Quantum Rods and Reels, fishing at a quantum level. By Mercury Marine. Lorance, makers of HDS, high definition systems. By Bass Pro Shops, your adventure starts here. Sperry Topsider, a passion for the sea. And by Loadmaster, Power Pole, Corrosion Block, Ocean LED, and Tough Line. You know, we power pulled down there in this spot that, that I, felt, I felt good about. I knew fish were going to swim by, but I didn't know if they'd roll and we'd see them. But sure enough, man, it didn't take long. All of a sudden, boom, they're rolling right in front of you. You're trying to make a cast, and wow, you know, and then you're thinking, okay, is there going to be another set? Two minutes after that, here comes another set rolling in. You make a cast, you know, we're trying to get our line, and we're wondering, are they going to keep coming here? Are they going to bounce in? Are they going to bounce out? And, and it, you know, it ended up that we were in the perfect spot. Yeah. Couldn't have picked a better spot. And, and when you're talking about another set, these were some big schools that were coming from both directions, from north, from south. I mean, they were really coming in. Well, that, that first one that, that you actually hooked that fish, I mean, I would estimate there was 500 fish in that school. I mean, it was mega. Look at this, man. This, that. is, that's, this is that's, that's literally 500 fish in that school time. hundreds of fish. That's 500 fish in that school. This is a school, man, I might rodeo, you know, right. get around and, and, and have another shot at them because that's, right. that's literally hundreds of just, fish. Just, just hook one out of it. And, don't have to worry about Look it. at it, how wide it is. Yeah, that's incredible. This is a really, really incredibly good opportunity right here. Hundreds of fish. And I, you know, it just looked like the entire channel was just, just, just bubbling, you know, from the tarpon. One would roll here, one would roll there, and then they finger in the middle. You think, okay, here, oh, there's just a school here, and you see one here, one here, one there. Then you see one over here, and you're like, wow. And then you, they fill in, and you realize. That, that's a school that's 100 yards wide and you know 50 yards deep and they're coming right at us and it's all 100 pound tarpon. Look at the size of this school man this is massive and they're way out there they go all the way from way over here way back over here. It's incredible. Maybe I can catch one out of the middle. I mean I feel like if I get a fly in these guys they're gonna eat. You know in that situation we weren't really familiar with that spot. You know, I've got other spots where I know I've got to be on the right-hand edge, front corner of this little white spot, and they're going to come right through there, and they're going to follow a groove, and every single fish that comes is going to follow that exact same groove. I'm going to have a perfect cast. We weren't, we weren't that familiar with that spot because neither one of us had ever fished it, so we had to kind of make slight adjustments. Now, those guys had to be sitting over in one of those channels Look at that. all night. Boom! Had to be sitting over in one of those channels all night. And just kind of stay just like this to where you got barely a little forward momentum. And that way if they cut behind us, all you gotta do is put the pole right there, spin me around, and, and we're, we're in. When you can see them so far away, now you can see where they're tracking. And you know, it's, if you stay here and be lazy about it, you know, now the shot that you're gonna get is a long shot that's gonna be a 90 degree shot. The fish is gonna see it for a second. And, yeah, there's a chance he's going to eat it, but if you just be a little more aggressive, move the boat up in here, turn it, and if the fish starts tracking this way, move the boat up here, turn it, you know, and get your 90 degree shot. And finally, we see these fish coming, you call them out from a long way away, I see them, I make sure my line's just fine, and I start making the cast, and I can see that this angle is shaping up just perfect. It's shaping up just perfect. And I've got a lot of line out, probably too much line. I was about ready to let it go. I said, no, that's not right. It's gonna be too far in front of them. Boom, put one more in there, and I landed it perfect to where that fish was coming like this. Boom, I put it on the other side of his head, and I start coming. I even called you it. You called said, the shot. You I said, that's the one. he's gonna eat it, man. I've got it. Oh, he, he, he ate it. it. Right on the surface. There he is. Get him, buddy. Get him, get him, get him, get him. I'm trying. Nice, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Whoa. Happy nice birthday. Work. That's really the key to fishing those school fish is if you get bit, 
just keep on stripping, keep on stripping, keep on stripping, and sooner or later, they're gonna, you're gonna get it just in front of the right fish, and he's gonna you eat it. You did a great job there. That's the biggest mistake I see people make. They get bite, they pull it out. You, you kept in them, you got that one bite, got another bite, and then finally another one came tight. You just came out of the water, and that whole school blew up. I mean, that was an awesome sight. Early in the morning, that beautiful light on them, yeah, that's jumping, the thing, going man. crazy. Yeah, that, to me, that's what tarpon fishing's all about, really. I mean, you know, you, you've told me a lot of times that your favorite time of the day is the, is the afternoon or the evening. My favorite time of the day definitely is the morning and the early morning light and seeing that fish jump and hearing his gill plates rattle and just the whole thing. It was just absolutely classic tarpon fishing. Nice job, Tom! I love it. Well done. Big fish. There dude. he is. Leader. Nice job. Caught fish. Now, I can pull on him a little. Let's get him up and see what he looks like. That's a big fish. He's probably 100 pounder, huh? Nah, I don't it. know about that, but he's going to jump right here by the boat a couple times and give us a nice show. Well done, buddy. We got all day on this fish now. All day. Yeah! <laughs> nice job. He's going to do that about five times, I think. Just happened to be just, just right. The weather was right. We were in the right situation. We had lots of shots. I got these new flies tied up by my friend, Peter Smith. It was just waiting for that right angle. We got the right angle early. Uh, hooked that fish. He fights us all the way down. You know, right here where we're sitting. He, he brought right. us right on the other side of these rocks. He landed him right there. But It was nice. You, you know, did a great job fighting him. And, and uh, you know, it's neat to watch somebody that's fought so many fish on fly. You know, the, you, you were um, calm. You, you had him under control. You know, you knew when he was going to jump. You bowed to him. You know, and you really put the, an amazing amount of pressure on that fish quickly. Got him right to the boat here. Um, it, was, it was neat just chasing him. We had the, we had uh, some of the offshore boats watching us as they were going yeah. out the harbor, waving to us while you're hooked Walker. up. Yeah, man, it was cool. You gotta like that. You know, it's the fishing honk <laughs> when you go by the bridge, but when those guys are actually going fishing for work and they're still excited to see you catch fish, that's awesome. Think about that. We were literally just, just you know, waking up for breakfast. You know, while these guys are looking out the window of the resort, and there we are hooked up with this tarpon. What a nice, nice. I big love fish, it. dude. It's the best birthday present I've gotten in a oh, long time. There he time. goes. Perfect, man. That's good. Woo! Nicely done, my man. I Nicely love it. done. He'll swim off just yeah, fine. Yeah, big boy. That was I love awesome. It, man. How fast can we get back out there and do that again? <laughs> About a 500 fish school that comes was, in. That was a huge, huge school. I mean, that's that's just what you do that for, man, right there. That was just, just the best. I think I'll put that that's same nice, fly on. It's nice to see somebody that can. Can make it happen, man. That's yeah. uh, that was well done, man. Well done. Yeah, I think anybody, anybody could have made that happen. Woo! That was about the best situation you could ever hope for. All right, man. I'm gonna get you back over there. Well done. I had, was not expecting to see those early morning rollers. That was all bonus stuff. So when we got back after fighting that fish, that's the time I might have thought about first showing up. Once we got a little sunlight, you were able to see some bodies start to show up. Um, that's, that's when I normally get there is when I can actually see the bodies. So I was extremely confident on that tide that we were gonna see a lot more fish. They're daisy chaining over here to your left, right here, right in the middle, oh. see them? Right in the middle there, a whole bunch of them on that white sand. Look at that. Eat it, eat it, man, he, he thought about it. Thought about it. That one's thinking about it. Come on. That's sweet, man. That's good, good opportunity right there. Here's another one right there. The thing that I was really, really looking forward to it was fishing ocean migratory fish because what I really haven't gotten the opportunity to do are these extended periods of throwing at the ocean fish, which can be very hard to very hard to catch. And and it's all about waiting for the right angle. I got a bad angle. I'm in there, they're gonna see it, but not a good angle. Oh, he just turned, he turned. Ooh. He turned, he turned. Oh, he's, oh, he turned too. I liked there. it, but if that had been a head on angle. Two leans, two leans on one to cast. You know, no matter how good you are with a fly rod or no matter how many you've caught, you're not gonna catch every one on the ocean, right? So you just gotta know that going in, that there's gonna be lots of shots that look to you to be really good, and they're not gonna eat it. Mm. Good cast. He's gonna eat it. Oh! Doggone it, man! He was on that thing, man. Woo! He didn't like that, did he? <laughs> slow it down there. There's more fish in there. Jeez. Oh. 
Man, I thought he was going to eat that. <sighs> oh, he didn't think a coker smoker looked good at all. <laughs> You're right, man. 50 shots. You'll get your 50 shots today. I better do better than one fish if I'm going to get 50 shots. I'm going back home with my tail between my legs. All right, fine. You know, that's, that's no problem. Maybe you can work on your angle a little bit and, you know, really try to adjust the boat. You know, what we were doing there is we would see them come through, and once they come through, they're going to follow kind of the same exact line, if not exactly the same line. And, and it's a constant adjustment process because as that tide comes in, comes out, those fish are going to swing a little further out or a little further in, depending on the depth of water and the contour of the bottom that they're following. That's good. Come on. He's going to eat it. Come on. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Good, good job, Tom. Nice job, dude. Wow. Wow. Nice job. I'm talking awesome. about right there. Yeah. Well done, man. Fantastic. <laughs> what I'm well talking done. talking about right there. See, that was the angle, man. You I was, did it. You caught it, too, man. For. What a fight. It's all about that patience and the angle, man. Well done. <laughs> that I'm right on the white sand. I love it. Not too many years ago, my friend John Olivero came up with a product that absolutely revolutionized saltwater fishing. And it's a little product known as a power pole. And at the time, it looked very, very strange on the back of a boat. And some people still may not have seen them, but they've become absolutely standard. What John saw as a, as a need for anglers was a quiet way to quickly stop the boat anywhere you are. So he came up with a power pole, and what it is, is it's a, it's a device that will put this stake down into the sand, not going to hurt anything, put it down in the sand, and you're going to stop. And what it allowed anglers to do was to start to fish bigger and bigger boats in shallower water. We used to have to fish only in a skiff, in a very small boat, 16-foot boat or smaller, so that we could stop it with the aid of a push pole. With the power pole and a trolling motor, it allows us to stop quietly, quickly, and anywhere we want. We can use, we can use a switch or we can use a remote control around our neck. Now, in the beginning, everybody put a single power pole on their boat. So somebody came up with the idea of putting two power poles on the boat. And when I first saw it, I thought, man, why didn't I think of that? That's exactly what we need because what's going to happen as you put both of these power poles down and the wind is blowing, you are going to stop and you're going to minimize the swing and have total boat control. Now the power pole is really cool. The way that we have it rigged up now, you can operate these poles independently or in tandem. And depending on the way the wind's blowing and what I want to do, I may actually want to swing around or I may want to stop perfectly. If I want to stop perfectly and minimize swing, I'm going to use both power poles. If I want to use just a single power pole, I can do that as well. And just put one down and I know I'm going to swing, okay? If I decide that I swing into position, sometimes I'll put one down and start to swing into position and then put the other one down to, to peg myself exactly where I want to be. Now the power pole has always meant total boat control, but if you put two power poles on your boat, it is absolute precise boat control. The Hawks K Saltwater Experience presented by Yellowfin is brought to you by Yellowfin, only at a Yellowfin. Finor, legendary tackle since 1933. The Florida Keys in Key West, come as you are. Yeti Coolers, wildly stronger, keep ice longer. Motor Guide, never stop. By Sirius Marine Weather, satellite weather direct to your boat. And by Under Armour, King Sailfish Mounts, Stabil, Scott Fly Rods, and Plano. I just want to make a faster flower in. He's going Oh, through. nice Oh, wow, boy, that was a knuckle buster. Whoa, look at him go. You know, I cranked up the motor to get you some, you know, tighter on that fish. We got up to him, you know, you, you got him right back on the fly line, got him close to the rod, and I figured, all right, I'm just going to let you do it with the dead boat, just turn the engine yep. off, and, and uh, it was interesting to watch. You were putting so much heat on that fish, so much pressure on that fish, that he was literally pulling the boat around one way or another. 
I like I like this. It, you know, it's already... oh, oh, there he goes. Oh, you Dang. broke the rod, huh? Yeah. Wow. That's my favorite rod, too. Wow. You were putting some real this. heat on there. I was. Uh, this will be interesting. I can get let's, it. let's see. Let's see what, what the pro does with a broken rod. I had the Scott STS 10 weight on board, which is, it's, it's light. You know, sometimes, you know, stuff just happens. I really don't think I was doing anything wrong and that rod can totally handle But what it. was most impressive to me is, is I've seen a lot of guys break rods, but I've never seen me land one with a broken yeah. rod. So you had this much stick to work with. Instead of giving up, instead of freaking out, you know, you remain calm, and then still we got him up to the leader, landed him right there, and then, you know, boom, we fi you know, finally went through the leader, you know, as we grabbed it. I mean, that, that is truly an awesome, awesome day. Yeah, it was day. absolute classic, classic tarpon fishing with a fly. It was a great time and a great birthday present. Man, so much can go wrong here at, this, at the boat here with this big fish trying to... Ah, yep, just like that. To, There's your oh. rod. <laughs> you got the back half of your rod there. <laughs> hey, man. That was job. awesome. That's all I needed right there. Great that was job. Awesome. We leadered him. He, we had the leader inside the rod. Yeah, man, we got him. Accommodations provided by Hawks Cay Resort Marina and Villas. All the fun of the Florida Keys in one island resort. Good job. Good. Nice to see a pro for the barn, man. brother. Closed captioning provided by Sperry Topsider, a passion for the sea. Well, you think you might give me a shot at it? <laughs> I don't know. After that, after seeing that, you want one? Yes. 